Hello and welcome to part four in this video series of creating my metadata-driven processing framework in your environment from scratch. What we're going to do in part four is look at publishing the Azure SQL DB schema from the Visual Studio solution into the SQL DB that we deployed in our Azure tenant. So if we come back to Visual Studio and we carry on following the steps that are in the deployment steps file, we are now focusing on number eight, publishing that, that SQL DB project that we have over here on the right hand side. Um, now, the first thing I'm going to do before actually focusing on Visual Studio is I just want to actually connect to the SQL DB using my preferred tool of SQL Server Management Studio. Now, before I do that, what we're going to need to do is come into our Azure portal and for the SQL DB that's been deployed, we just need to allow my external IP address to connect to the instance that's up there in Azure. So by default, um, no public addresses will be allowed to connect to it. So all I'm going to do in here in the portal blaze is just add my external IP address and save that, which means that I, I can now connect to that SQL database. Um, so then what I'm also going to do, um, just for ease, I'm just going to copy the server name. And then in Management Studio, I can connect. I can paste in that server name. I can choose the SQL authentication and the details that I used and created in the previous video. So I'm just going to connect. If I actually had Azure, you can tell I've not rehearsed this. <laughs> SQL DB, SQL, I can't remember what the username was. Not to worry. Let's go back in here and to my database and to my connection strings. No, I don't want scaling. My user was SQL DB SA. Of course it was. Let's try that again. So I'm now connected to the logical instance and you can see we have the empty SQL database there. All good. Next then, let's go back to Visual Studio and the database project that we've got in that solution file. So the first thing I'm going to do is just build it just to make sure you know we're, we're good, we, we have everything we need. And then I'm just going to right click on this and publish. So this is going to use the DAC pack method to actually publish that database. And what it'll do is as part of that publishing, it will allow me to create a published profile. Now this will be stored locally to your solution and, and you can add your connection details in here and they'll be used by the solution. So for that, I'm just going to create a new connection. I'm going to use that same information that I put into Management Studio, server name, SQL authentication, which I can't remember again. Again, not rehearsed. SQL DB and my password. Yes, feel free to remember that. And then I want the framework metadata database. So let's hit OK. So connection string in, good. And then let's just publish. So this is where Visual Studio and the, and the SQL Server tools are going to help me out here by creating that DAC pack and actually then just pushing it to that SQL database, which hopefully won't take too long. What you can do is, uh, if you're interested, if you wanted to open the folder where that's stored, if you want to look in the bin folder, 
um, you'll see the, the actual DAC pack file in there if you want to do something with it. Let's just come back to my data tools operations and see what's happening here. Creating the publish profile. You should already have that. Let's see if we've got anything here. No, not yet. Our publish profile done, creating that master script, creating a database script and executing successfully. Good, so let's try that one more time. So now within the metadata database, we have all the tables and the store procedures we actually now need to run the processing framework. And we'll probably see as well that in things like our properties table from the post deployment scripts, we've got a, a bunch of, you know, sort of predefined metadata in here to sort of get us going. So that's it. That's the metadata database deployed to the SQL database. So that concludes point nine. And that's it for this very short video. Thanks very much, everybody. Join me again soon for step, the next step.